this account challenge is for day 11 in the 30 days of code challenge and the name is 2D Arrays. It's actually recycled from the 2D Array challenge which is under the data structures category and I've actually already solved this on its own. This here is my GitHub and I have the full solution here with the video explanation. I'm going to link this again in the description of this very video because in it I explain extensively the logic behind my algorithm right here, which is the same that you can use for this 30 days of codes challenge. So I'm going to paste my solution and run it. But before I do that, I want you guys to just scroll down. They have some functions like LTrim, RTrim, the split function and all that. But you guys don't have to even pay attention to that. You just have to scroll up on the main function right here. Of course, you can read the instructions, but like I said, everything is already explained in my other video. So you just have to watch it and then come back to this one. So if you look at the main function here, they are creating a 2D array, which is a vector and it's a vector of vector of integers and it's of size six. So we're going to have six rows and then for every row, they have this main for loop here. That's the outer loop. And at every iteration, they resize the number of columns to six. So it becomes a six by six grid. And then here they populate the array with integer values. So what we have to do now is simply come here, write our function to solve this challenge. The function can carry the same name, which is our class. It doesn't matter. I can just grab this here. In fact, I'm going to copy the comment as well. Copy this and then paste this right here. I've pasted it below these function prototypes. For a bit of optimization, I can add an ampersand right here just to pass my vector by reference. I can't stress this enough guys, but if you want to understand what I'm doing here, make sure you check out my other video. I'm going to link it one more time. Now that you have this function, which achieves the goal of this coding challenge, you just have to copy the name of that function. So the name is hourglass. You can copy that. Come back here inside the main function, under this outer loop, don't paste it under the inner loop here. You have to paste it after the outer loop. To avoid confusion, you can even click on that arrow here to toggle it. Then you can come here, make a space and then paste the name right here. So now you need to pass this vector as an argument to your function. So you can come here and write R. And then now you can simply add a C out statement. And then that's it. So now I can run this code. We have passed the sample test case. I can submit this code and we've passed all the test cases. So that's it guys. The solution is already here on my GitHub. Just grab it, paste it in here at the top. You can add this ampersand to pass by reference. Then come back to your main function right here and paste the name of the function under this outer loop. Pass this vector as an argument and then make sure that this is part of an output statement so that you can print the integer being returned by this function. So that's it guys for this Hacker Challenge. I will leave you guys to watch my other video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.